it. Is it futuristic? Yes, hell yes. This thing is straight out of my bike driving fantasies from when I was a kid. Like for example, it has a kickstand that no joke, once activated, can only be deactivated with fingerprint access. It's got a microchip inside of it that will alert your phone if it ever gets stolen, and it will give you the exact GPS coordinates to go find it. It's got integrated signal and brake lights, so you don't have to wave your arms around like this when you're gesturing that you want to turn right. And then also headlamps that are sensitive to the light in the environment, so they only turn on when they're needed. And all of this stuff is great. Like using tech to make the biking experience safer, that's exactly what it needs. And then you have the elephant in the room, hubless wheels. How is it that every single bike you've seen up until this point has a hub in the middle, but this one doesn't? Well, they've actually not really done away with the hub. You still need one. They've just redesigned it and relocated it so that everything that was previously happening here is now happening in a combination of here and then here. Does it have any practical benefit at all? No, it doesn't. And that brings me on to the problems. The whole thing is very surface level. Like, it's very heavy. It's got this really cheap feeling plastic coating that we actually ended up accidentally scratching earlier just trying to clean it. As far as the actual electric bike performance, it's really nothing special. Like, it's nothing better than what you could get on a $1,000 or maybe even $700 electric bike. The thing has basically no suspensions. So every single bump you go over, you feel it. <laughs> but by far, the worst part of this is the tech is basically dysfunctional. We couldn't get the app to connect. We couldn't get any of the smart features to work. Customer service, non-existent. The company doesn't even seem to be properly operational anymore. Making this essentially the most expensive prop I've ever bought in my life. And I'm really upset, to be honest. <laughs> $4,600. That's where we're at right now. And for that, well, this Diablo robot really has to be something special. Right, let's just get one thing out of the way. This is a very impressive product. Like, it's one thing to be able to balance as a human, but to achieve that in a two-legged machine, that requires very high intelligence. It requires the robot to be able to constantly know exactly where its limbs are, and also be able to correct itself in an instant the second something moves out of sync. You know, when you move it, it feels so powerful. Like, it could take me out if I accidentally 